Bell Tutorial Part 68 The Date Calc Module Now this module we can use to calculate differences between dates and all kinds of things to do with dates Now it's quite an involved module and there's a lot of things you can do with it so probably need to have a look at CPAN to have a look at all the functions but first of all let's load our module now you can either load individual functions or we'll load all functions so let's create a couple of variables year equals 2008 month equals 12 even though it's the first month we'll say month equals 12 now we can say days equals days in year and there we have our year and our month variable. Now this will get the number of days in a given year up until the month specified so this will get how many days there are in 2008 because we've specified 12 months so let's run this and we get 366 so there's 366 days this year which means it's a leap year now if we wanted just to get the number of days in January up until the end of January 31 if we make that 2 then that will include January and February so that's 60 Okay, so we can actually use a leap year function to tell us whether it's a leap year or not. So leap equals leap year and the year. So This will return a 1 if it's a leap year or a 0 if it's not a leap year. So since it is a leap year in 2008, this should return 1. 1. Okay, so time for some more variables. Hour equals 12. Min equals 59 sec equals 59 now we can check whether this is a valid time or not so check time equals check time and then we can print check time so let's run this returns 1 because that's a valid time now if we change the seconds say to 60 and run this returns a 0 because it's invalid Okay, so here's a function that will tell us what week number of the year it is. So let's create some variables. Month equals 1. Day equals 15. Let's say week equals week 
number year month day and we can print the week number so it's the third week of the year okay and now is the date to text function so date to text equals date to text long and there we can put our year month day in here and we can print our date to text in a long format Tuesday January the 15th 2008 Now have a look at this one. We can create a calendar and we can put our year and our month in here and then we can print our calendar. Let's run this. January 2008. Look at the calendar. Okay, so now here's one where we can convert the month number to text. So that's month to text equals month to text and then we put our month and we print our month to text so the month up here is 1 so that should print January January Finally in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to, to find out the difference in days between two dates. So we use a function called delta days. So delta days and then we have our first year month and day and then we can create our second date we can put this straight in or it can be some variables so just pretending it was the 15th of January and the difference in days between the 15th and the 21st of January is six days. So that's the basic use of the date calc module.